Dave Smart joins us in the Harvey Norman Lounge for the first time this year to tell us about a new arrival to Hamilton Zoo. Great to have you here, Dave. Thanks, Mel. First up, can I offer to bring in my felt tip next time to colour in your beard a little hey, bit? Hey, this is four years' work, I'll have you know. <laughs> four whole years. Don't I look mock forward it. to seeing it in another four years. I started seeing it last week. So tell me about this new arrival. <laughs> So, uh, new cotton top tamarin has just arrived at Hamilton Zoo, and his name is Mishka. Where did he come from? He came from Taronga Zoo in Sydney. Uh, cotton tops originally from Colombia, uh, but this guy's come to us from Sydney, and the plan is that's him in the front there, and uh, Bianca, his new bow, if you like, uh, behind. How cute are they? So cute. So you so bought cute. this is this is one. Yeah, this is a soft toy version. Oh, all right. Uh, thank, thank you. I was a bit concerned. Right. Yeah. He'd stuffed him. So he's, be <laughs> he's beautiful, he's actually really cute. I do always go on about you for bringing animals in. So now you can say This that is what I, you can do. Yeah. So why has Mishka been brought over? So Mishka was identified, because these guys are critically, critically yeah. endangered, so he was identified as a good uh, breeding partner for Bianca. And so he's arrived from Sydney, uh, like a lot of Australians do, uh, to settle in the North Island rather than the West Island. In the Hamilton region. That's right. So is he here to stay or is he going back to Australia? For now, you mm. know, it's it's not a hit and run type thing, come and do your job in Scarpa. No, he'll be with us for a while. But species coordinators around the world decide where uh, animals go. Right, so he may not go back to Australia. He may go somewhere else At or may stay point, here. Hamilton is his home. Yep. I guess it depends on how well he breeds, if he's a breeder or not. It does. Is it difficult for these little things to breed? Uh, no, just little tamarins. No, no, they they, well, they get into it like they get in, like anybody or any critter gets into it. <laughs> well, some some have this trouble. This is about to get awkward. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Obviously, they've got to get on. They've got to like each other. Okay. They've got to um, they've got to click, and that's true with anything. Uh, but these two appear to have so far. So no intimate details, but things are going well. Well, I busted them the other day. Barry White it, playing it, in the background. It was awkward yeah. uh, for the three of us. Uh, they you were through it. They're probably a bit close to the window, uh, so we can't really, you know, I can't really be blamed for that. But they did go inside after that. So yes, they have been getting on very well. You had a word and said, "Take it indoors, guys." <laughs> That's right. So how careful do you have to be when you're introducing new animals to species at the zoo? Yeah, you do take your time. They get introduced. They get to spend um, a little bit of time where they can interact with each other uh, through mesh, but be safe from each other. Eventually, when keepers decide that it is okay then a uh, very, very careful introduction, and uh, the introduction went really well. She started eating, and then he came over and joined her. He was a little bit shy, and they started eating from the same bowl. So it was all very romantic. Oh, yeah. that is beautiful. Uh, do you, I mean, animals, do, are they generally likely to like each other? Yeah, like anybody, they're not always going to get on, but for the most part, with careful introduction mm. and identifying who is going to get on best with who from their behaviour, Hopefully, most of the time, we can get it right. Okay, let's have a little look at these cuties. So that's uh, Bianca. How do you know feet. that? Uh, she's got a slightly scraggier tail oh. um, than he has. Here he comes. So this is his first introduction to Tupperware. <laughs> uh, that is a kind of a larvae mash type Ooh, delicious. thing. Yep, so munch that, get the best bits, and Oh, look at their tiny the little hands. Yep. So amazing little critters. They are beautiful. And so they're friendly? They are, yeah, they're, they're quite scared because they're little compared to us. We're really big when we go in there. You know, you're not going to get up close to them, but they're not. They're going to be inquisitive and curious around mm. humans. And you said they're endangered. Yeah, critically endangered. So they reckon that somewhere like 80% of their population has been wiped out in the last 20 years, and it's the same old story, deforestation, this time in Colombia. 80% of their population? Yeah. That is quite extraordinary. Yeah. Well, best of luck for the uh, budding relationship between Mishka and uh, and little... It was Bianca, wasn't Bianca, it? Bianca, yeah. Bianca and Mishka. I hope things go well. Thank when you. are we likely to see some success from their relationship? Hopefully at some point this year. OK. Fingers crossed. Give them some privacy, Dave. Yes, indeed. Don't go barging in. Make sure you always knock. Yes. Look out, for the, look out for the sock on if the door knob. If they can just stay away from the window, then we'll be <laughs> <just> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. Always a pleasure. And you can pick up a Sticky King washable hair, pet fur and lint remover and get the cafe special deal by calling the number on the screen right now.